up, we're working with a translator, and it's the first time that Helen has translated to English, so or to um, to uh, to Chinese, and uh, usually she goes in the opposite direction. So, bear with us this morning. We appreciate in advance your patience. Um, are we ready? <laughs> a few Decembers ago, I received an email. And this is what the email said. I love this time of year. Everyone is so happy. It's very easy to get cynical and annoyed at the crowded malls and the materialism. But there is something very special about Christmas time. There's lots of food. And because of the food and because of the Christmas tree, the house smells incredible. And there's also lots of lights and music. And I wonder, is God trying to get our attention? And if the fact that history is divided into two periods before Christ and in the year of our Lord isn't enough. Is it just coincidence that the most hopeful and peaceful and joyful time of year is Christmas, the celebration that Jesus and if God is trying to get our attention, and I believe He is, what does He want to say to us through all of this? What is it that God wants us to get in the midst of the food? And the wonderful smells, and the music, and the lights. I think it's that God wants us to grasp that there is no life like knowing and following and being made from new from the inside out by Jesus Christ. And if the good things of Christmas are nothing compared to what God ultimately has in store for us. Parable after parable, Jesus explains that being one of his disciples or followers is to accept God's invitation to a banquet, a party. And the reason why Jesus first miracle of his public ministry was at a wedding party and that God's kingdom that is life when Jesus is king this is the beginning of a party that will last for eternity don't get me wrong. Those of us who have accepted God's invitation to this party know firsthand 
that it's not always easy. 我哋嗰啲接受咗神嘅邀請嘅人有接係係知道咧，其實人生咧唔係唔係成日都係咁嘅，唔係成日都好容易嘅。A life of following Jesus Christ is far from perfect or easy or carefree. 我哋知道跟隨耶穌基督嘅生命咧，唔係啊同呢個完美啊、容易啊或者誒咩、啊、都唔使憂咧，其實係差好遠嘅喎。But at its best, it is a party or a banquet. 但係好嘅時候咧，我哋知道係真係一個派對、一個宴席咁。And when things get tough or when tragedy strikes, we have the promise that God is with us to guide us and to help us. 但係當但係當我哋有困難嘅時候咧，好好難嘅時候咧，神係會啊俾我哋有佢嘅應許，亦都會引導我哋去幫助我哋啊，無論點樣都好。And even to guide us when we're working with a translator。咁咧，就就算有要同個翻譯嚟到去誒做嘢嘅時候咧，都會幫助我哋嘅喎。And if we really want to understand the Christmas story, we need to understand the story of the Bible. 如果你想明白呢個聖誕節嘅故事咧，你一定要明白呢個聖經。And this story is of one of God bending over backwards to show humankind that life in His presence, a life with Him, is the only life worth living. 就係關於咧，神點樣出盡曬佢嘅力咧，去到將話俾人類聽，啊，佢。一個生命如果有佢嘅同在嘅時候咧，係誒、uh, 一係唯一一個生命係值得去活著嘅。And the nation whom God chose to proclaim this message to the whole world was the nation of Israel。咁而神揀選一個國家嚟到去誒表示呢個信息啦，呢個國家就係以色列。And tragically, the people of Israel, just like us. Often only paid attention to God when it was convenient or when they needed to get out of trouble. 好可惜咧，誒以色列人咧就好似我哋一樣啦，我哋淨係咧留意神咧，當我哋好順境誒，樣嘢都好好嘅時候啊，或者咧神佢哋好想好想神幫佢哋解決一啲困難嘅時候。But here is the incredible thing. 但係呢度有一個好誒難以置信嘅事。Time after time, God was faithful when Israel was not. 一次又一次咁，神係信實，雖然以色列人唔係。For example, in the eighth century BC. 啊、um, ，例如咧喺八世誒、uh, 主前八世紀嘅時候。The prophet Isaiah tells us a story about a king named Ahaz. 先知以賽亞咧就向呢個啊哈斯王又講一個嘅故事。Ahaz was inexperienced, fickle, and worried about threats from the nations around him. 阿哈斯王咧係好冇經驗，又善變，又啊成日驚俾其他國家打佢嘅。Even worse, Ahaz refused to ask God for help, or he refused to rely on God. 仲弊嘅咧就係阿哈斯王咧唔肯向神嚟到去誒請求去幫佢喎。Even when God offered to give him a special sign of His favor， 就算神啊，佢話會俾一個好特別嘅誒兆頭俾佢，係對佢好嘅，佢都唔理。And、unfortunately， this was par for the course for Ahaz。咁好不幸地咧，其實呢個阿哈斯王咧都預咗係咁噶啦。But despite Ahaz's lack of faith, God gives him a sign。雖然阿哈斯王咧係冇呢個誒、um, 信心啦，但係神仍然俾佢一個嘅誒兆頭。The sign is the birth of a child。呢個兆頭咧就係一個嬰孩嘅誕生。Isaiah speaks。Of an ordinary birth. 以賽亞係講一個好好平凡嘅誒出生。But the name of the child is anything but ordinary. 
但係呢個嬰孩嘅名咧就唔係簡單啦。The name of the child is Emmanuel, which means God with us. 嗰個名咧就係以馬內利，意思就係神與我哋同在。And before this child is old enough to know right from wrong. 咁喺呢個嬰孩咧識得分辨左同埋右之前咧。Isaiah tells Ahaz that his enemies will be too busy fighting. With each other to cause them any trouble. Isaiah 就同阿哈斯王讲啦，你嘅仇敌咧就会好忙噶，唔会有唔会有时间去到诶俾你有麻烦。In other words, God tells Ahaz, stop worrying. 换句话讲，神就话你唔好再担心啦。Trust in my provision for your needs. 你信得过我俾你供应你嘅嘢。I am with you. If you would only recognize this and accept this, 只要你认认得出嚟，而且亦都接受。But God knew that Israel and everyone else, for that matter, needed more than just a quick fix. 但系神知道咧，以色列咧，比起其他嘢，啊。以上咧更加係需要啊多過一個好快就搞掂嘅嘅啊嘅嘅嘅答案。God knew we needed more than help with this enemy or that enemy。神知道咧，我哋啊除咗去到啊應付我哋呢個同埋嗰個敵人之誒以上咧。God knew that we all needed help with the real problem。神知道我哋其实我哋真正嘅困难系我系有一个真正系有一个真正嘅困难要需要帮助嘅。The real problem is sin。呢个真正嘅困难咧，问题咧就系罪。And whether it's Ahaz or us， 唔理系亚哈斯王定系我哋。Sin is the choice to forge our own self-centered path。罪咧就系我哋去拣我哋有自我中心呢个路。A path that leads away from God。呢条路咧系将我哋拉离神。Or when we refuse to ask God for help and rely on Him。系叫我哋咧唔去到啊问神，去到啊求佢帮助我哋解决困难。But despite our lack of faith and our stubbornness。啊，雖然我哋冇信心，亦都好頑固。God has given us another sign。神又俾另一個兆頭我哋喎。And this time the sign is for the whole world。今次咧係俾全世界噶啦。And it's the birth of another child。呢個咧有另外一個啊嬰孩嘅誕生。But this time it's not an ordinary birth。但係呢次咧唔係一個好普通嘅誕生。Just so there can be no mistaking it, this time it's a miraculous birth。因為咧驚你哋會搞錯咗啊，以為唔係啊兆頭，所以咧呢個係一個神蹟嘅誕生。The birth of this child is more than a, just a sign demonstrating that God is with us. 呢個先係嘅誕生咧，唔單止係表示神與我哋同在。This time the baby himself is Emmanuel。今次咧呢個嬰孩佢自己係以馬來利。Because the Christmas story is the story that God is with us。因為聖誕節嘅故事就係神與我哋同在。And the hope and the peace。And the joy and the love that comes from realizing that God is with us like never before. 亦都咧睇到呢个希望、平安同埋喜乐，因为同埋爱，因为咧神已经同我哋同在啦。And that God is with us to save us from the real problem. 而神与我哋同在，去到拯救我哋，由呢一个真正嘅诶困难里面。Jesus. Or Joshua means the Lord saves. 耶稣、约书亚即系讲神去到主拯救
The angel said, you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. But why all of this? I ask because the Christmas story is pretty crazy. The God who created everything comes to earth, is born, and lives in poverty. And if that's not enough, on the cross, Jesus willingly took your sin and mine on himself. Taking it from us, taking our sin from us so we can live. And from beginning to end, Jesus' life was one of humility and service. But again, I ask, why? John's Gospel, chapter 3, verse 16, a verse we all know, tells us why. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son. That whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. I saw a sign on a church once at Christmas time. It said, Jesus loves you. That is the reason for the season. Some of you might know a singer by the name of Chris Rice. He captures it very well, this sentiment of love in his song. He says this, love has the final move. And on this fourth Sunday of Advent, we remember that Jesus shows us just how much God loves us. And indeed, how love has the final move. And in this season, when we remember Jesus' miraculous birth, it is good for us to remember that we've had miraculous births of our own. We have been born again, made new by the Holy Spirit. Forgiven and empowered by God to serve Him. To love Him and to be His ambassadors. We believe that God loved us so much, He gave His only Son. And that in Jesus Christ, we have the gift of eternal life. But I want to remind us this morning of something else. Emmanuel is not just something to remember or take comfort in at Christmas time. Um, 
One of the last things Jesus said to his disciples was this. From Matthew chapter 8, then the eleven disciples went to Galilee. To the mountain where Jesus told them to go. Um, when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you till the very end of the age. Being a disciple of Jesus is not always easy. Sometimes we have doubts. Sometimes it's hard to forgive. And sometimes it's hard to love those who have hurt us. Sometimes it can be scary to live out our faith. But there is no life like knowing and following and being made new from the inside out by Jesus. And one of the most incredible reasons this is so is this. Emmanuel. Jesus loves us and Jesus will be with us always. That is the message of Christmas. Don't forget it. Jesus' invitation to God's banquet is open to each one of us. And the promise of Emmanuel is for eternity. Have you accepted Jesus' invitation? This Christmas, may we be thankful for what Jesus has done for us. And if you would like to talk to somebody about Jesus' invitation, I encourage you to do so. You can talk to me or Pastor Chow. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Let us pray. Father, we thank you for Christmas time. And may the love that you have shown us in Jesus. Fill our hearts. We thank you.
In Jesus' name. Yes, okay, okay, okay. Yes, okay, okay, okay. Amen. Amen.